Marty, a long, long time ago, in the galaxy far, far away, we did independent filmmaking in Connecticut. A long time. How are you? How are you, my friend? I'm great. How are you? Marty, what the heck are we doing here today? Well, uh, hopefully spreading the word about how great a state this is and how many more films will come here and, you know, we'll be able to spread an industry that a long time ago we, we started as a crazy group of people, you know, with uh, no money and a bit of a dream. That's true, mm -hmm. 100%. Yep. Marty, what the heck's happened? Uh, uh, first of all, a long time ago, uh, we worked in a barn, a long time ago, mm -hmm. uh, on my farm. Yep. And uh, you showed up and um, talk to me about your career. What the heck have you been doing, Marty? Well, uh, way back then, I was working as a PA and trying to, you know, make a way in the business. Um, since then, I've gone to and from the Florida State Film School and came out with a master's in film, and I've managed to produce six features. I've uh, acted in a couple of films and TV shows. Um, I've got a film that I've written that I may be directing this year, and uh, just trying to, you know, keep things going. I just love Marty Lang. I can't believe I'm interviewing Marty Lang mm -hmm. here in this uh, crazy independent world where nobody knows what's going on here. <coughs> All right, Marty, what's going to happen next? Okay, so we talked about what happened before. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what's happening in the next couple of years. Well, uh, one of the things that I hope happens is uh, the state continues to, to you know, push workforce training and things like that. One of the things I do, I'm an adjunct professor of film at Quinnipiac University in Hamden. And one of the things that we're doing there is we're one of the schools running the state film workforce training program. Um, and one of the professors there, Liam O'Brien, and I are going to be running uh, that school's program starting on July 8th. And I'll hopefully we'll be able to do it next year as well. So that's one big thing that's going on. Uh, and then for me personally, um, you know, a couple films I have that might be going in the next year or so. And, you know, hopefully one or two of them will take off and, you know, continue, uh, you know, the good fortune that we've had. Okay, what do we talk about first? Your films or the training? Uh, let's talk about the training. Okay. Um, the uh, state of Connecticut uh, put about, I think, seven figures into a program where state residents can actually come and become trained in different areas of working in, uh, in film. And uh, Norwalk Community College, Quinnipiac University, and Middlesex Community College in Middletown are the three schools that are going to be administering this training. Uh, it's going to be starting up on July 8th, I believe. And if you go to www.ctfilmworkforce.com, you can take a look at all the programs that are being offered uh, and sign up for it. Uh, it's a four-week program. Uh, you'll have exposure to union professionals and all the different uh, aspects of filmmaking. And uh, hopefully, you know, it can be a starting point for people that are interested in getting into the business uh, but may not have connections or, you know, may have had a dream to get into it, but for whatever reason things, you know, went other ways. You know, this will be an opportunity for people to really get into it and get a, a, a firm education in the basics of how films are made. Well, you know, Marty, I have this, this theory. Enough about you. Let's talk about me for a minute. Cool. I got this theory in the fact that, like, people have been growing up, kids, kids today have been growing up you know, watching TV forever in a day, and they and they watch stuff. They've watched thousands of hours of, of television, mm -hmm. and and uh, they know beginnings, middles, and ends. They just don't know what they know, right? So that's what we're talking about here. What you guys can do? Yeah, I mean, it's it's an extension of you know a lot of people may know. Oh well, making a film looks easy. I could do that, you know. And, and this will this will be the uh, you know kind of the A through Z of the technical know how of how to do it. Yeah, definitely. All right, enough about them. Let's talk about you. Okay, mm -hmm. films that you're gonna do. Um, well, uh, the uh, gentleman who was here previously, Alex Calvo, um, he has a film called Irrefutable that he was talking about before, and I've I worked with him on his movie The Other Side of the Tracks that shot last year, and I'm going to be working with him in some capacity on that. Um, I have a former student of mine who actually has written a screenplay and who's getting ready to direct that, and he's asked me to come on and produce that with him, so that, that could be happening uh, next year down in Stanford, so that's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, there's a documentary that I may be working on uh, with another filmmaker that I've worked with previously. And I have a film of my own that I've co-written with a friend of mine. And uh, we're hopefully going to be shooting that and I'll be directing it uh, either at the end of this year or the beginning of next year as well. Right, but you're the real deal, man. You're like a filmmaker. You're the guy who's a filmmaker because a long, long, long time ago, and the whole thing is like, now you're producing, you're doing these stuff. I was like, I remember you were like shoveling the other guys, the, the lipstick movie. Remember? Mm -hmm. you're, yeah, yeah. Tell us about the story about that. I, uh, the very first movie I worked on was a film called A Little Bit of Lipstick uh, that shot in Hartford. This was way back in 2000 uh, when I was just out of undergrad, and I'm dating myself. Um, and we, one of the things that, uh, that we were doing on that film was moving wood around at the director's house 
and really hard manual labor that most would uh, end up turning off to the film industry from that, but for some odd reason I loved it and I uh, kept on going and great news about that film, eight years later we may have found a distributor for it. So we might have a national DVD deal for that first movie that I worked on eight years ago. Which makes you a great producer if you ask me. Yeah. Thanks. All right, tell me the big secret, man. What's the secret of like making it in 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 uh, independent filmmaking? Perseverance, I think, is the biggest thing you need to have. Uh, there will be obstacles thrown in front of you that you will never have expected or will never find in any other industry. And if you can find your way to fight through them, uh, the gold at the end of the rainbow is is more worthy than anything you could ever find. The friends that you make, uh, the places that you go, and uh, things that you do, it's it's definitely a, it's a great career. Dude, you sound like Dr. Seuss. That's so good. <laughs> I love that. Uh, this is like so good. How much time do we have? Anybody kicking us out? Or are we still yeah, running? Like we're wrapping. We're done. We're okay. Peace out. Any last thing you want to say? Um, I don't know. Uh, hope everybody's having a good time and uh, Ask him how to contact. Get Contact information. How do we how do we get hold of you, uh, Marty Lang? Glad you asked. Um, I have uh, I have a website on MySpace uh, that you can get to. I don't have a personal website on my own yet, but if you go to MySpace.com/slash Marty Lang, M-A-R-T-Y-L-A-N-G, uh, you can learn about me and see some of the stuff that I'm working on. And if you want to contact me or send me money for a film that I'm working on, that would be great too. So anything like that. What about good. internship programs for your students? Um, there are places in Connecticut that are looking for students uh, to work for them right now. I know one place that's great is uh, the Connecticut Film Center in Stamford um, and Capture Time Productions in Litchfield, Connecticut. Um, they're currently working on a great documentary called Dyslexia and they're looking for interns for that. So any of those places, uh, if you're interested, those are places to go. It's all good. Peace out. Are we done? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.